Just two weeks ago, my guest in the segment was like hundreds of young dancehall aspirants in search of a place in the music. But little did he know that this upload, a 45 second video, would change his fortune for good. Yeah. But watch them keenly as them try go round the bus, yeah, yeah. Loyalty come with the cars, you know, for your oxen. Overwhelming support from not just fans of the music, but right across the spectrum of those who are creators, artists, and others in the space. His parents named him Kushailo, but I guess you'll be calling him Nation Boss. Right now, right here on our stage. Greetings, greetings, Winford. Well, congratulations, sir, on your success. Yeah, man, give thanks, you know. Genuinely appreciated, fam. What are some of the changes you've experienced so far? Well, so far, mm -hmm. I've been getting more respect now, like way more respect, you know what I mean? Tons of love, same way. How certain were you that this would do the trick for you? Did you know that? Or you were just posting a video? Like, that, that, that's just something I normally do, mm -hmm. you know? That, that was just a normal post right there. I'm the type of person to just get up, play a rhythm on my phone, Mm -hmm. Freestyle something and throw it on my WhatsApp status or even my Instagram. That's just me, you know? Yes. And cared not with what happened. So the quest was not nah. to get the break online? No, that, that, wasn't, that, wasn't, that wasn't intended. All right. So you've, you've moved on to record now officially this record. So talk about that. How did that come? I saw that the video went viral. Yes. And I started paying attention more to my social media page. And I realized somewhere in the comments, like, everyone was saying, you need to record this. Like, this, mm -hmm. song, this song relates to a, a wide region of people, like, not just only individuals, you know? Yes. After constantly being told by, by other people and the majority, most definitely, I just decided, say, well, why not? If them ask for it and them need it so much, just go ahead, you know? Yes, so you went and did the official recording at um, Troublemaker Studio, isn't it? Troublemaker reached out to me, yes. you know what I mean? As, as much as most others as well, but he saw, he saw it and he reached out first. And from, from even before this went viral, he was someone I always dreamed of even working with, you know what I mean? He was kind of like in my vision, you know? Mm -hmm. So As I would randomly know. I would like randomly just download, download some, some of his beats off like YouTube and stuff and just freestyle around my friends, you know? Okay. So that particular beat, whose beat was it? Originally, the beat that I did the 45 second clip to, it wasn't his beat. That was an online beat. Okay, I see. Oh, you, look, yeah. you just pull down a beat, jump on it, and post it at 45 seconds. And then yeah. he wanted to put you on his beat. Yeah. So you, you recorded officially now, and you went as far as to make a video. The video itself, the, the official music video now, is just, it's gone viral, isn't it? We decided to do the video because like, we just wanted to ask, add, add some extra fire to it, you know? Yes. Because everyone was already asking for like the song, so it's all right. Since as they're so interested in the song, let's give them more than what they asked for, you know? Mm-hmm. I think that, that you guys have done a tremendous job. You look so comfortable on camera, you know, and those scenes, spectacular scenes that you have in it, um, I, I'm sure help to do the trick in, in, in reaching souls around the world. Let's pause now and give those who haven't heard it yet a piece of the song and the video right now. So there you have it, a piece of the human, <laughs> the big track. You deserve every bit of attention you're getting. There's no fake about this. And you seem to be getting support and love too from the industry, from industry players. What are some of the responses you're getting? I had people like Leela, IK reaching out. I had people like Up Top Boss, mm -hmm. TJ, you know what I mean? Popcorn, Quada. Yes. I, I, I can't even name some of them. Beaniman, Ayakteen, Teflon, Zing Fence. They were all there. Jada Kingdom, you know what I mean? And all that support was genuinely, genuinely appreciated, you know what I mean? 
Because like these days we don't really see unity in the business, mm -hmm. honestly. And you're about that? 100% man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Love and loyalty alone, you know what I mean? And, okay, so this is the only song we know of you. I know of, of you, right, At your, in terms of lyrics and so on. What would you consider to be part of your MO in terms of your content, in terms of your lyrical content? You've, you're a great lyricist, I suspect. The way you put words together sort of stand you out as a lyricist. Is, am I correct? Yeah, most definitely. Yes. All right, so, so let's go back to your roots then. You, you migrated for a while from Jamaica. You were born in Spanish Town. Yeah. At what age did you leave Jamaica to go to Barbados? Uh, like about a year and eight months old. Really? And lived there for a yeah, while? Lived there for like roughly 10 years. Yeah, I mean. So you're a big young. <laughs> Kind of. Well, kind of, kind of, you know what I mean? So kinda. is it because of your parents, both parents, one parent, how? All right, so that was due to an early separation, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Between Mother and parents. father. Okay. Yeah, between. And which one did you go to Barbados to live with? My mother. Or your mom? It has to be. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, the mommy them without them, I don't know what would have happened to this country, my friend. Okay, so you, yeah, so you were like a passionate writer of lyrics, musical lyrics, dancehall lyrics, just general lyrics, poetry, what? General lyrics. I'm just a good writer overall, you know. Yes. So you, you, yeah. you would always be ex expressing yourself through writing. Okay, but were you considering a career in music? at that time not really you know mm -hmm. like it was just all love for me i grew up with a love for for sounds like i'm the type of person to listen to instruments over and over like dissect rhythms and listen to instruments separately you know so music was always the in thing growing up i listened to way way more different genres than you could have imagined not only dancehall even opera yes how would you describe your listeners at this point your your fan base, this exploding fan base, it's, so, it's, it's happening so fast that I don't know if you, you have time to, to take a look at the demographic construct of your fan base <laughs> in these few days or weeks since, you, <laughs> since you, you started to get love. Are you able to look at who they are and what they're saying? Like, no, I can't. No, it's, it's not that easy. Okay. So, my friend, well, you have all the time in the world to do all of that. And so where do you go from here now in terms of recordings and uh, your career plans right now? Well, presently, I'm just observing the moment, but there's, there's definitely way more in store. Yeah, there, there's chapters to be shared with the world from me, you know? Chapters, wow. <laughs> where in Jamaica are you located now? Okay, so I currently live in St. Mm -hmm. a small village named Davidstown in St. Anne with my mother. Okay. So you're breathing the good country air. <laughs> to have a sense of clarity that maybe we on this side of the island don't have. <laughs> out there in the countryside. And I think that is coming out of your music, my friend. More of you, we would like to see in the business. We don't want to compare you with anyone or put you under any pressure about where you go as, a, as one who is expressing yourself. But we like your consciousness um, about lyrics. And about and the passion with which you do music. Your mom, how is she responding to all of this? My mom, no. When it comes to me, because I'm the last, I'm the last child for her. She's yes. very emotional when it comes to me. So this right now, it's, it's all joy, man. It's all joy, you know. Siblings and so on. Everyone's astonished right now. Everyone's just. They knew my struggle, you know. They mm -hmm. they knew where what I've been through. They knew where I've been in life. So it's just like everyone is just happy right now. So they are brothers and sisters. So so right now you have a very yeah, stable, yeah, supporting family around you. Most definitely. Well, you know, Nation. And that name though, you need to explain that for us. Your name, Nation Boss. Nation Boss, no. That 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 was from like high school days you know mm -hmm. i used freestyle back in school and things so it was always this artistic thing where everyone said yo you need you need you need to label your thing you know what i mm -hmm. it was native at first 
because you never you never have this artist thing about it to me. Mm-hmm. It is just plain. My dad always powerful from 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 a very tender age as well. Even being the smallest, so I just formulate everything into one and say, well, all right, nation. Mm-hmm. And I've, I've always been dealt with as a person with boss qualities, so the boss never far off. <laughs> boss qualities, you are blessed with that. Explain that. Okay, so without being aggressive or even, even trying to proclaim any form of ruling over anybody, I was, I was the type of person who just respect, respect, respect carry me through, right through. Mm-hmm. I was very respectful, so my respect around even elders and people older than me, it forced them to respect even me as a juvenile too. Yes. As it said even in the song, hard to big them take it for a fool. I was the person to sacrifice my happiness for everybody else happy, you know? So yeah. It's this song is true to your life, isn't it? Really, really true to you. Yeah. Man. Really, really true, man. No fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, my friend, this is such a pleasure to, to have you on our stage, to, to hear from you at this point of your career. We have no question then that you will be going big places in the world. You will be out there representing us, all of us, and will be bringing back glory to all of us. And I, again, that's no pressure on you. It's just to say that it would be a shame if an artist like you, my brethren, now bust out big and serious across regions of the world. In fact, I see you taking a big slice of the international reggae dancehall space and beyond. Have you gotten any, any live stage uh, experience? Have you got exposed like that to perform live before an audience? Like, yeah, but not really professionally, only on small scale, you know? Yes. And how do, yeah. uh, how do people respond to you normally when you, when you do that? When, it, when I'm on the stage, I'm in my element. That's oh. where all the magic happens. Oh, cool. Nice. It's good to hear. That's another plus. Because sometimes, sometimes among youngsters, that's a bit lacking. And uh, every time we see a new artist with that ability, we're excited because of so many of them who have come forward. Very good lyricists and all, and, and good music, but cannot deliver live performances. You know, so it's good to hear that. Yeah, man, most definitely, man. Well, Nation Boss, we drill you no more, sir. All that's left is to thank you again for sitting in with us and sharing your story with us. The honor is mine, man. Blessed love. And much respect yes, to all the people in your community in St. Anne, all our fans out there, and all of those who are literally promoting and listening to you around the world. We say, continue, please. This artist deserves your love. Yes, man. Give thanks. Give thanks, you know? Give all thanks, right. man. I just want to say to all who are supporting, keep, keep supporting, keep, keep being real. Stay loyal and true to yourself, man, because that I could bring with you this world and this time we will live in, you know? All right, so from Nation Boss to 